Uh, hello guys, for today's episode, before we start the Legends Tag Tournaments, into the Legends League, um, we're gonna, I'm gonna kind of show how I create a player, create a wrestler in this game. Um, I'm gonna just create, like, a, a just a made-up wrestler off the top of my head. Um, however, if any of you guys watching this, if you want to see me create you for this game, let me know in the comments or Discord, and just give me whatever you need and need whatever is needed to create one, and I'll do it, and I'll put you in the game. So let's let's start things off here. So right off the bat, you have you can load and edit wrestler. This is cool because what you can do is you can create any one that you have downloaded once it loads. And you can use that as their base. So if you just want their moveset or their look or specific large details, you can just keep and change whatever you want if you want to go that route. But for this video, we're going to create a new one. And you can build from a blank or from a model wrestler. A model wrestler is kind of the same thing here. You got You can build from a model wrestler. Actually, no, correction, load edited wrestlers, just wrestlers you've already created or saved. That's my bad, <laughs> sorry. Create new edit, that's where you get it from. Now, we're going to build from blank, though. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a unique wrestler. We're going to create a, a wrestler god, pretty much. Pretty much the ultimate wrestler, the wrestler killer kind of thing. So we're going to call him... Um. We're gonna call him God Killer. We're gonna call him. We're gonna call him. Uh, the God Killer. <laughs> For um. For that, and we'll, his first name will be um. What's a very. Biblical. What's what's a very ancient, good ancient name? Uh, ooh, Ram Ramses. We'll do that. And we'll just Ramses. Um, Ramses. Ramses Kong. I mean, that'd be the, oh no. I mean, that'd be the best with names, but it's whatever. Put him in heavy mail. America. <laughs> Birthday. We'll uh, we'll make him two thousand. Oh, we'll make him a giant. Make him hefty too. He said he's good. So it's pretty simple there. Um, now appearance. This is this is the big part here. So for this guy, I'm pretty much gonna create two outfits. Very simple. So for this guy. So basically, if you want to add a costume, you just highlight this and you switch back and forth to that, which we'll do throughout this. Um, for stance, we're going to make him mixed style because he's going to have a lot of different things. His size, we want giant because you can do small, medium, large, giant, and of course female. And all this stuff, I wouldn't worry about this stuff right off the bat. This just alters his face and hand sizes so it looks a little bit more disproportioned. I wouldn't worry about that, in all honesty, starting things off. You can mess with that as you go. You can also edit skin color. But they, this game has a good job of having varying colored models. So I wouldn't worry about that either at this point for starting out. You can mess with that later. Sorry. So this is how you do it. So basically... This is the stuff. Now it looks intimidating. You press triangle to move to different windows. And base one is the 
the those guys kind of ghostly looking those are kind of just kind of there just as a base a basic base two is the caucasian three is three and four are people who have have different skin tones so so you can mess around with that we're just gonna keep it simple we're gonna have because our guy is gonna be all costumed up oh come on Oh, hello guys. Uh, I had to do a time jump. The game keeps crashing when I'm in this. So, I'm hoping that I I saved some minor details like his stance and his size. Um, and now we're going to try this again. It always seems to crash here. So... Let's see what we want here for mask. Really, face-wise, it doesn't matter because he's going to be covered like that there. But I want something... Seems to be working now. I'm not noticing any freeze. I just saved it again. That's the biggest thing. Maybe it just had an improper save last time. Ooh, I like this. I like this here. And we're going to make... So, basically, you press X to select, and then you can do the bases and you, you have all these options you have the bases you know and then you have and you have asian western styles masks guys girls you select those to kind of determine what's there to select on you press triangle to switch and you just press o to cancel and you're fine where you are now the mask this is important so this is how we're going to do the color now, here's a very important thing. We're going to make it all black. Keep it simple. Make it all black. Um, here's something to really be, be notice of. If you're going for a specific color with specific numbers, it gives you an option. If you press triangle when you're on that colored square, it gives you an option to copy and paste. So if you make a specific color, you can copy it and put it in other aspects of the clothing. You don't have to try to get to the right number every time for color palette. So that is huge. We're not going to worry about that too much here because we have all this. But yeah, so so next is chest. Now we're going to do giant because we have a giant guy. And we're going to... Well, actually, we have a giant size, but he doesn't have to be giant giant we can mix it up so we'll actually even though he's the size of a giant we'll make him large and then for clothing this is important we can have tights like all this kind of thing which we'll probably do you can also do shirts as well and you have different options t-shirts pretty basic tank top and baseball style you have some crafts if you download them to mess with you have outerwear as well that you can put on over the things like jackets and how to do that is quite easy you just you just do the shirt part first with the layers layer one and then you do layer two with the jacket or whatever it it doesn't quite it doesn't necessarily matter because the game is smart enough to kind of put them in order the way they're supposed to be so that's that's something to keep in mind i thought about giving him a ninja attire but that's a bit too mix something a bit more simple would work for my guy here i think i think we'll do just a black t-shirt we're gonna make him all black because he's kind of he's kind of the unknown guy and then yeah that's really that's really all i have for this top part now, to do the bottom part, you have to go to waist, actually. That's something important to take note of here. Um, and we want large. And I almost forgot to do this part here. Um, so if you're going to do multiple outfits a month, it's super easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to face. And we're at two. 
So now we go to 1, we see 6912, and we just go to 691, and we just go to male mask, because you can only do mask or western, and we just go to that number. Now, it's okay to go back and check and compare. It's very easy to do if you're just going to make multiple costumes at once. And, like, right now, I'm blanking on, like... There it is, right there. Now, all right, so now we're going to go over here. 6912, 691. All right, so I am way off. So sometimes if you know the specific number, you don't have to mess with the additions. You can just go to where it's at. Like here, for example. And you just get rid of the parts. Like all this, what you can do is you just press triangle and it's delete. And there you go. And now we just make everything black. You do that with the stick too. The stick. You can do that with the stick. You can also do it with the D-pad as well. Um... And then, and then OK, and just a t-shirt. We'll make that black as well. The highlight part, um, I wouldn't worry too much on that. It's, um, you can make it shinier. That's really the biggest thing. So that's, it's it's simple and you can mimic it. I don't typically use it because I think the design, the way it looks is fine as is, unless I'm going for something super specific. All right, so they have this border here. I typically don't keep it, but you can, because I think it just clogs the space a little bit. Technically, I think it's filler, but I never notice really hardly any gaps with it. So... Usually the gaps I do know is is usually when you mix hair in with a face that may not quite mesh. That's just something to keep in mind there. All right, male large, male medium. So that has to be changed. So one thing uh, I almost forgot about for... So the biggest difference I'm going to have with the second costume here is I'm going to have this be an NWO costume. In the best way, I go to craft, and there it is, right there. Now, the NWO logo, to keep in mind, the one I download and everything, it goes to the chest. So if you're going to make an NWO alternate outfit, be careful on what type of clothes thing you use because it doesn't always mesh well with any type of clothing you have based on its placement. So that's just something to keep in mind. Yeah, so, chest, you see, you think this part would be the longest, but it's not necessarily the case. For me, the longest that takes for me is actually getting the move set, which we'll get to in this video as well. That's why I'm kind of keeping this simple, because when you're creating a wrestler for the first time, you kind of want it to be somewhat simple, and we'll also have... I want him completely covered up, like head to toe. Like, I don't want anything. So we go to here. You can do tights. That goes with that. Shirts. You want shirts, and you want different kinds of things, and it'll go with that. Uh, F to P. I'm not quite sure what that stands for. I know F to L is, like, long. If you're worried about, like, the skin showing, like, right there above the shirt, I wouldn't, don't worry about it. Um, it's just a thing with the game. It still is what it is. It's just, it's just something that doesn't quite mesh as well when you're doing this. So it's just something to keep in mind. Of course, you can always, of course, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them here in the comments. If you have trouble finding it quick, you can just go here. Always, I always do that just because it makes it a whole lot easier to find. Form. And then...
And a quick side note, you can put your own songs in this as well for entrances. One thing to keep in mind, though, is that if you plan on streaming, is that if the song is licensed, which a lot are, then then you're gonna then you're you're gonna have to either have the video block, edit the section out, or have it muted or replaced with something else. You 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 won't be allowed to keep the song. So you plan on streaming and showing it off online. Oops. Messed something up here. Okay. Was it this? Yeah. That important. Then you're gonna then you're gonna have to limit what kind of songs you pick. Video game music is fine. So you have a lot of options there. Open domain, maybe some YouTube music that people don't care if you share or not. So that's just something to keep in mind that there are options for that in case you do so. That's what I have to do. A lot. Some people do recommend like songs that are licensed. And while you see, I would love to have like accurate entrances for all the wrestlers, but if I plan on streaming and showing off like I do, I can't really do that because of the license thing. And of course, if you're just doing it on your own in your own privacy or whatever, go nuts, of course. So bare hands, bare hands you usually leave alone depending on it's not really don't that much to me mess with there. Thighs, um, this, oh, <laughs> I almost forgot about the waist in these. That's supposed to be all black. I can't believe I forgot the pants part. So for pants, you can do, t it's like shirts, you can do tights and and all that um we're gonna do for the sake of like since it's a shirt we're gonna just do just gonna do jeans i often use jeans pretty often just because it's i don't do a lot of like wrestling wear because a lot of the wrestlers i create are like local guys from chicago who just you know are fellow youtubers so i just kind of Unless, if they request something specific, I'll do it, but for the most part, a lot of the stuff that's requested is usually for clothing, it's usually like typical wear. Sometimes they'll request wrestling attire every once in a while, but it's not super often. Okay, so set there, good. Now we can go back to thigh. Um, let's see. Yeah, large. We want large. We want jeans so for this you can do different stuff skirt leggings low rise all that kind of stuff accessories is willing to explore too but i think starting out i think just getting the base of all this stuff down and then for your wrestler and then after you save them you can either like mess with it and not save if you don't like it or or like uh, create a whole new wrestler and do crazy shit with that one I and mean, it's all about experimentation, figuring out what works for you and all that. It's pretty handy. I don't have a... Ooh, forgot to change that. That's why it's good to check when you're doing multiple. I'd recommend doing multiple ones at once, actually, because it's actually not that hard to jump back and forth between the two, especially if you're not doing anything super complex. All right, and uh, so now this part here. Um, We're going to keep the shoe part simple. Um... So you only really have these options for thighs, so you don't really have to mess with that as much. So, and for the rest of it, they have the, sh they, the default shoe up. I tend to like the shorter shoe. Wait a sec, I'm, miss I'm missing the mid-shirt thing, god damn it. I'm forgetting quite a bit on this. You see, it's easy to, f you m you'll catch that too when you're doing this, that you'll forget to do certain things. You know, when you're going through and you're missing steps. Because they kind of have some stuff blended a little weird, like the waist with the lower part of the shirt. That's kind of, I don't know, I to this day I kind of feel a little weird about it. I mean, like, why have it like that? I mean, granted, some wrestlers may show off, like, their stomach or whatever, but it's not exactly a super common thing. Maybe it's like female wrestlers like to do that, but I don't know a lot of guy wrestlers that do. But I'm sure some do. It's just, it's just not something, it's just a weird way to organize it. So we'll so we're gonna delete all the extra stuff. Um, 
right there. We're going to get rid of all that. Because some of the default stuff that will come with that you, you're not going to want and you're going to want to delete. So basically what's left is just the other part of the pants, which will be jeans. This may seem like a very vanilla creation, but I think to keep in mind for you guys is that if you guys are doing this for the first time, you're going to want to start simple because this game can throw a lot at you very quickly. And it may be very intimidating, but I will say out of all the creation modes, this is probably the easiest in my opinion. The other modes are like beyond my recognition right now, and I've had this game for a long time. So barefoot two, we're, you're going to leave the bare feet. Um, For the sake of it, we're going to leave the shoes the way they are. We're not going to change them because they're typical tennis shoes. We're just going to make them black. Oh, wait. I want the shoelaces white. Oh. So, yeah. That's pretty much the guy right there. And it's all right to double check to make sure that everything is synced so that you don't have to come back to it because the other parts of this are going to require a bit more fun focus. Because even though this can be very fun creating a wrestler, it can also be tough to kind of keep up with sometimes because it can be... It can feel a little monotonous if you if you just do like the same similar designs. The key is just to really just have fun with it. And plus, creating people you know is always fun too as well. Um, so we're gonna go back. So this is safe. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna save here. We're gonna overwrite. I always click overwrite just because it's it's it feels final. You could also regular save, but. I don't know, there's something about overwrite that feels more solid to me. The only thing with it though is that you have to go you have to go back to this and you have to I will say about this game, the loading times aren't dreadfully long, but they are noticeable. Well that was quick right there. So next is skill. So this is key. So since he's gonna be the god killer, we're gonna put everything at S. Fight style, this is key. This is important because when you click fight style and return style, it determines what moves are going to fit with your wrestler the best. Um, the basic ones, orthodox, technician, wrestling ground, power. So each one has its own. There's a guide that's on Steam <clears throat> that goes over like a guy put on Steam. Because this game's also on Steam, and it's very similar to this. The only real difference is, like, um, much more space to upload, even though the PS4 version has enough space to go crazy with. And, of course, you can mod the PC version. PS4 version, not as much. But basically, <clears throat> a base one, Orthodox, it pretty much does everything okay. Most of the stuff's going to be C grade for the move comparison might be a few b's and a couple a's but it's mostly typical technician a lot of stuff does well but he's not going to be able to do any power moves wrestling is just kind of just typical wrestling ground is ground attacks power power you do a lot of like power moves and that's where a lot of famous moves get in but you're also going to miss out on a lot of other ones americans just typical wrestler we might just do it him um, Luchador, you got the Luchador moves. Junior, actually, you could do a, a little bit of everything pretty solid. But, but you see, this is kind of thing that may require experimentation. Because you're not going to be sure what moves fit with what. And you're going to want to be like, oh, I'm going to put this these moves in. These, my, have my wrestler will be this type. And you look through move set, and the moves you want to use don't come back. Are, aren't compatible. Of course, you can just use them anyway and just fuck it. But, but that's just something to keep in mind. Mysterious. Um, you do a lot with mysterious shooter. A lot of suplexes, grappling. Fighters just kind of like boxing. Grapplers kind of like you just a lot of grappling moves. It, there's a lot to it. Giants just kind of more basic version of power. Um, but yeah, I think to to to. Start to start things off, I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to have him be... We're going to do American. Now, Orthodox, here's the thing. Return skills, they have a different lineup of returns than fight. Like, like for example, like... um. 
Like, there's no power return skill. No, no, there is power return skill, sorry. Um, what one isn't in it? Like, there's all around in return skill, but that's not in fight style. Um, and, and that kind of thing. There's a little different lineup there. But we're going to also have the return be American. It's critical is default's finisher. That's his critical ability. But you can also have it be a striking, suplex, submission, power, technical, and so on. But you also have a point thing. Now, I don't know why, but for some reason, when I every time I create a wrestler, the edit points increase. And I think it's just a reward. Special skill. So this is where you can get interesting. And you got to click information to see. Right here, gets involved with the audience, stardom, cube return, recover immediately after taking a big move, overturn, become more concentrated under disadvantaged circumstances, start dash, show great strength at the beginning of the match, guts, doesn't give up easy, strike back, rejuvenate, strikes back when the opponent shows signs of fatigue, finisher, extremely active finisher. Um, blood becomes stronger when starting to bleed, hardcore weapon specialist, focus, Striking tax missions, adapt, hard body, strong and healthy body, superstar. This is when it gets bigger. Stardom and strong finisher. Stronger and strong finisher. That's a combination of stuff. So this is just combo of stuff. So I think just to kind of give some point space, because I like to have all my wrestlers, create wrestlers have the same amount of points just for balance. I think we're going to have it be in the 15-point range, really. And I think we're going to do adapt. Recovery, we're going to have that be fast, fast. We're going to have the breathing normal, good there. Spirit, we're, we want, I want my guy having strong spirits. Um, neck endurance, um... We're going to leave that normal, but we're going to have high for everything else. And we're going to have everything right there be normal. Um, no, You can do favorite weapons, but I typically don't really all that much. Um, so this is important. So this is where you p click theme music. It has The game has a lot of default themes from licensed wrestlers they have in this game that you get through DLC. And they're all pretty solid themes. You can use any of them, and it's a good range, too. But I, but you can also upload the music, too, and you can use that as well. We're not going to worry about that that much right now. Um, uploading music to this is a kind of a whole different ball game, so we're not going to worry about that right now. Um, voices, I tend to not mess with this that much just because you only have a certain amount of American male voices to do, so it's just kind of... Something you could customize, but nothing I would get too crazy about here. And then we're going to save again. Just to cover our ground. We're going to go back. Oh, no, not that. Load at a wrestler. So it can be easy to forget because it has so many options to go through stuff. All right. And now the biggest thing right here, the move set. Now this is key. So I typically leave like um, when I'm going through because there's only so many good options and to, for the save time. If, it, if, it, if the wrestler's default move is already at like a C or more, I tend to leave it there. However, I will change that if I'm trying to. Oh, sorry. Uh, I forgot the other step, the parameter. This is important, too, because these are pretty much the basic attributes. Um, so we're going to just put everything at 9. I tip Because of the range, usually when I create wrestlers, I usually have that 9 for the basic stuff and 10 for any notable stuff that they have that I think. We're going to put everything at 9, and if whatever's left, because the limit I put on these are to like 286. So we're going to do all this, have everything at 9, and then if anything's left over, we can add more to it. And I do it like this mainly because 
because after having my create wrestlers go against other create wrestlers, I downloaded offline, like based on real wrestlers in this game. They they tend to fight pretty well against them pretty evenly, so I kind of just kind of kept that. So we have four points to get, so we have four extra stuff. So we're gonna put entertain, of course. Um, let's see. Um, we're gonna do uh. I'm gonna do punch and do punch. I don't know why it has duplicates. I think one. I don't know why they have duplicates of that. I think. Oh, and you know why this probably is? It probably is for fight style and return style. That's probably what it is. Um. So we have two. We have two eighty six. So that's four. We just put extra and entertain. I don't know if I want the extra and punch. So now I'm thinking about. It. I think I want it in. I think I want it in technical. Just to kind of give it a bit more range. So that's the limit there. Now we're at move set. But for this guy, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have all created moves from online. So he's like kind of like this, like in the final boss in fighting games where he does all the moves from all the people you fought against. That's kind of what this guy is gonna be. Um, but basically, um, some of them may not have that, so I think for, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see if any stick out. That's front low clicks and A, but I'm going to, a fight move. Do American jab. Kick. American drop kick. We're going to put that there. Ladder. Another, I don't like doing repetitive moves. Some people, if a wrestler has, a real life wrestler you're creating just has a very basic move set, you may may end up using the same move in like multiple stuff. But I, I tend to like doing as varied as possible. So we'll... Since he already has an American drop cook, we'll go with something else. Striking layer. Shoulder. HP key jumping for him. We'll do HPK for that. Do crucifix pin there. Same stuff there. Um... Superman punch. We'll do that right there. Counter. Steamboat arm drag. We'll definitely put that. Kitchen sink. Do scoop power slam there. Shoulder throw. Can't do big boot because it's too low. We'll do spine bomb. That looks sounds pretty lethal. And you might not... And, and if you're doing what I'm doing, you may not... It depends on what how many of these you have. Rolling monkey flip will do. Or right, that post big. Um, and with these moves, basically... Basically, all these happen with the controls. You have to learn the controls for this to be able to make any of these moves happen. And they're not... They're, they're easy to learn, but hard... They're... It's not that they're hard to master, but they, but they're easy to master, hard to learn. If that if that makes the case, the tutorial mode in this game, like the mission mode, I highly recommend that. Can't do spinger splash. Can I? Can I do corner spear? If I can't do like um, that's thing when you go through this too. Let's see. Too, is that once you go through the noises this can make when you go through these can get a little tiring at signs. Do jumping back elbow. So perfect knee left. The rest of the things are D's, so we can't really do those. 
Top Suicide is a B, so we'll leave that. Sledgehammer. Swan Dive Pink, I will put that. Flying Body Attack. I tend to change some of these because some of them can get a little repetitive for some wrestlers, and I don't want a bunch of wrestlers having the same moves. Okay. We'll do Back Cutter, yeah. I like that move. Moonsault Press, we'll do that. Diving Elbow Trap. American has, you pretty much pretty solid at everything. So, this is key. So, you get four signatures and a finisher. You can put those anywhere in your lineup. You just have to click off and then click on again with the X button. And you can move them anywhere, like here to here or here to here. I, I Usually they have these moves there because they kind of represent like the biggest of the section. They have them there for like certain reasons, but to be honest, you can put them anywhere. What they do basically is they add... I believe this is correct. They add a percentage of 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 how often they happen if you're doing like uh if you're doing a computer simulation, they add like um a percentage of how often they'll do that move. They'll add mo more of a chance of them doing that. That's the biggest thing. I think there might be other things, but I'm not quite sure. All right, this is big here. So we got so we got some creative ones here. What are you going to do the macho man elbow drop? I wonder if I can Oh, we can actually do that there. I actually want his signature to be... Dying, diving Bulldog. Diving Cross Body. Just have him be all these signatures. Frog Splash. There we go. Strike Contest. Is there any... There's an A. Knuckle Arrow. But there's a fierce nice. Uh, you know what? We'll do that. If it's C, I'll accept it. Drop kick. Brutal forearm smash. We'll put there. Let's see if there's any A's. Heart knuckle arrow. We'll put that. Do that. Flying mirror. On ring sequence. Do that. Um Do snake rattle and roll there. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, no cell headbutt. see um some of these are gonna be a little lower on this so I may do body slam. See any good ones? Jerry Lawler pile driver. Yeah, we definitely want that. Let's see. There we go. This is where the signatures come in. I may switch the moves around to get some other ones in there. Bandaminator. We'll have that be a signature. 
And the green things just basically mean they were downloaded from this online thing. I got a lot of moves. And a lot of famous moves are default in the game. So that's just something to keep in mind if you're going for famous moves. I'm going for the green download ones because they tend to be edited to reflect the wrestler they're on. And I kind of wanted that kind of vibe. There we go. Hulk up. We'll do that. And the finisher. This is big. So... How do we want There's diamond cutter? I wouldn't the DD. That's not sides. Stalling, little Frankenstein or giant bear hug. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make a switch. We're gonna switch up this with uh. Let's see, good one. Um, let's see, uh Little Frankensteiner, we'll do that. Van Daminator, um, and we're gonna have this be the Jerry Lawler pile driver, just because he's like super original, like wrestler and uh, Diamond Cutter would be great. I might actually put that. Let me see who I already have. I actually might replace the Van Daminator with the Diamond Cutter. And the thing is that if you want, like, certain moves to be signatures, you can do that. You can move the signatures around. I'm leaving them on default just to kind of have... Because the wrestler's supposed to be range of a bit of everything, so I want his range to be a little all, all over. Um, so what was I going to do? I was going to do... Oh, yeah. I missed the Jerry Lawler thing. Um, where is it at? J, 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 J... They're not in alphabetical order. I kind of wish they were, to be honest. And we're going to switch that with the diamond cut cutter. And then, you know what, I wonder if I can replace that body slam with something else. Yeah, let's put, can I put Diamond Cutter, they, I mean not Diamond Cutter, but Van Daminator here, they don't. It's kind of unfortunate. Um, hold on a sec, maybe they have it here. Um... They do. I don't know what's the difference really between the two, but I'll oh, probably the attributes. Yeah, we'll do that. Do low blow. Heart rush. Ah, oh, that's a D though. Um, any famous ones though? This part takes a bit. It's not quick backbreaker will do. It's a, a sleeper host classic, but it's he has it on the C. Oh, here we go. I got a lot of full Nelsons here. Um, rolling stunner. I wouldn't mind putting a stunner somewhere, some form of the stunner. 
we'll do giant head, but got more here. Not a lot of high ones for him. We'll do full Nelson face buster. <laughs> Do German Blue Thunder. Let's. And this is a signature here, so and it's all these moves. So, because of that, I think what we'll do is we'll put since his best is giant headbutt, we'll put that there, and we'll switch that in with. Is there any famous ones that aren't from online? Um. Choke Sleeper. Electric Chair Face Buster. That always looks so cool. Um, You can also scroll through a lot of them if you're looking for specific grades pretty fast. And you can notice the difference and you can always go back. Reverse DDT. Might do that. We don't really have any DDTs. We'll do that. Counter Diamond Cutter. Put that there. Well, actually, you know what? Let's see if there's any original cutter. Put original cutter there. Put that there, and we'll put. Oh wow, they changed it. Put that there, and we'll put that there, and then. Oh, Steve Austin's elbow drop. You gotta have that. Elbow drop two. Stomping face. Let's see. Oh, walk on stomach. Figure four leg locks famous. Ah, uh, sharpshooter. Got it. We gotta have that sharpshooter. Actually, we'll make sharpshooter there. Um, we'll have leg breaker, and then we'll have the sharpshooter. This is gonna be a long ass video. And of course you can have some might be repetitive. Do uh, we'll do the torture one there. We'll do that there. Torture camel clutch. There. Curb stomp. So we'll put any of the famous ones here. Those are pins. We don't necessarily want pins. We'll do that one. And then we got pins. Ah. Uh. Let 
do um figure four jackknife, yeah. Silent Clutch, we'll do that. Ghetto Clutch, yeah. We have all these. Oh god, look at all this. Um, any famous ones that stick out? Um, Giant Whiff, oh yeah. Um, violent. Let's see. Catching cutter. Oh, ring post figure four leg lock. Ooh, we kind of do that one. Corner choke. Dragon driver. That one's not really good. Tom rope. Tombstone pile driver. Oh, well, we got a pile driver. Fall back. We'll leave that one as is. Headbutt. Counter leg drop. We'll do that. Do that. Nothing there. Do do giant swing. Some of these. elbow bot just cuz with the press yeah a lot of these are just gonna be just kind of typical stuff we do collar lock mix it up bash couple ooh small package hold we'll do that not a lot of creative ones for MMA guys jumping oh man I wish we can do the DDT belly hold we'll do that Face knee left. We're going to probably leave at... Uh, that's a C. Do face punch. Hammer lock we'll leave as is because it's a B. Headbutt. Choker sleeper. Knuckle arrow. First power bomb. We'll do C for that. We'll leave it that as is. Only pinfall. We'll do that. We have double team stuff. DX combo HBK. We'll do that. Triple blow. I'm not quite sure, but I think for the double teams to happen, your wrestler has to be sharing that move combo with other wrestlers. A lot of these are A's and B's, so I'm just going to kind of leave them as this. And this is the fun part. This is where we get... <laughs> we'll do Hitman 2 for his thing. So we got all these guys, and we're just going to do all the things.
All right, so okay, since that's kind of the X taunt. do that all right so yeah that's kind of that's how we got it right there so we're almost finished here all right so when you leave it gives you the option to change the finisher the name of the finisher um i'm gonna leave it as is just because i want it to be credited to what it is All right, so that's where our guy. So the next thing, CPU logic. Now I messed the least around with this. I just I messed with one of them a little bit ago because I wanted him to do more of that. So basically, what it is, uh, it affects the amount of damage a specific move does, and you can mess around with that. I don't really mess around with the AI that much, mainly because. The game performs great as is. I only mess around with one because I wanted to see if I can make one do moves more often. But that isn't usually the case. So mostly it affects damage. And stuff with specific move sets and where the wrestler's at and where the moves they can do in that area. Um... Yeah, I don't mess around with it all that much, to be honest. The only thing I change, really, you can check this stuff, priority attack. So this is this is big. This is, this is probably where you want to mess with it. And, and to be honest, that's probably where I should have gone to begin with. Um, and you can do a follow-up with that um this is probably where to do that but the thing is that it's still damage it doesn't really affect how often they do it just probability of the damage it does you can do showman how much they show off discretion flexibility i'm not quite sure on that cooperation how much they cooperate outside re return count 40 percent uh touch work some of these i'm not quite sure all right this is big weapon usage this is something, I always put it at 40, because this percentage represents how often they pick a weapon. I put all my career wrestlers at 40, because at 1, they don't do any. If you put it at 100, they'll use a weapon all the time. So, 40, to me, is a good number. And then, second interference, I'm not quite sure on that either. There's a lot I still don't know with the AI part. The AI part's the only one where I feel like it gets quite a bit with that. But yeah, we're done here. Um... So that's Ramses Kong, the God Killer. <laughs> and yeah, um, and yeah, I could have like put like Stunner and Tombstone Pile Driver probably in that. I just went with like the community created moves mainly because I wanted to have. Because when the community creates the moves, they include the mannerisms of the wrestler they're creating for. Like the Jerry Lawler pile driver, they put a little Jerry Lawler in that. The same thing with Macho Man, the Diamond Calder, the Hulk Cup's a big one, Giant Head, but that's that's why. Um, so yeah, so we didn't really need to change or alter anything all that much. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna overwrite and we're gonna save him. And we're going to put him in somewhere. Now, Now the biggest thing right now is, like, see him in action. We're not going to worry about that part in this video, mainly because... Mainly because another big thing is getting the right song for him. That's something you really want to think about, and that's something... I'll do, I'll do, I'll talk about song importation, uh, importing another time. Um, in terms of showing the wrestler off, I'll probably, if I'm, I'm going to show him off, I'll probably do it in the, in the Legends Tag Tournament that I'm doing. I'll probably throw him in there. But what we'll, what we will do, though, is we'll move him to, move him to, like, activation. So basically how you do that is you go to Team Edit, and you go to, 
transfer wrestler. You go down to retire, and you go to that. You select your guy. You can also do multiple checks too with Square if you want to send them all to one thing. We're gonna send them to. Let's see where is it. Um, send them to the Campy Co. And we're gonna put them in Founders actually, mainly to kind of boost that up. And yeah. And he'll be right there, and he'll be ready for use. And that's how you do it, really, guys. That's how you really, that's how I at least create a wrestler. I know there's probably tutorials out there that go more crazy in depth with it and everything, but, but for you noobs that are just coming along, the newbies coming along to, to create it, that's kind of how I do it. At some point, I'll probably get a little bit more advanced, get more creative with the AI and whatnot. But to be honest, the default AI is, per, is pretty solid as is. I mean, you could probably change it up so that they can do different things and whatnot, but the way they do it, they do it varied enough, and they do moves often enough to take notice. So, yeah. Um, and I, I still got to do homework on that as well, so that's that's something I have to look into as well. But, yeah, this that's kind of how you do it. And, yeah, next time we're going to take a... We're going to kickstart the Legends tag... Legends Tag Team League, and we're going to start that off with um, uh, tournaments within tournaments. Basically, it's going to be like there's going to be four total tournaments. Three, uh, one's going to be tag teams of the '80s, tag teams of the '90s, and tag teams of the 2000s, the present, and then a created wrestler tag team, which will be the created wrestlers and whatever wrestler they want, the people who I created for them, who they want picked, whether it be another created wrestler or a real life wrestler that's in this game um and basically the top two in each will go on to the round robin portion of the league so there'll be eight total teams the, the teams that the teams that win the four teams that win will be in one bracket and the teams that lose our second place will be in the other bracket so there'll be eight total teams moving on and i'll say that in the discord as well but yeah guys uh but yeah, if you have any questions on this, or if you have any advice for me even, if you're watching, if I missed something or whatnot, let me know in the comments. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, uh, in case you wanted to chat with, along with stuff, or anything in general with me, or with Mike, or anyone else at the Campy Company, and you don't want to use the YouTube comment section, we do have a couple options. The first is we have a Discord channel. You can find the link to that in the About page slash About section of our channel. We also have a Discussion tab on our channel as well. You can access that through a PC or laptop computer. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the videos, and have a good day.